Hi, this is John Carpenter, and uh, during the coronavirus epidemic, I thought we would uh, do a little yoga, take our minds off everything. So this is the first class of Oki Yoga. And we'll just start out with a seated position, turn your palms up, drop your shoulder blades, tuck your chin, just shut your eyes, relax and breathe, inhaling, exhaling. As you slowly open your eyes, bringing your palms together, thumbs in the chest, interlacing your fingers, taking your hands straight out, lifting up overhead for that lift up out of the waist. As you release your hands, bring them behind your back, interlace your fingers, straighten your arms, and release back to a seated position, inhaling, exhaling. Just let your chin drop to your chest, let your head hang heavy here. Head up to center. Now right ear drops to right shoulder. And back to center. Bring our shoulder blades together. Just let the head gently fall back. And head back to center. Now left ear drops to left shoulder. And back to center. Now placing your left hand on your right knee. Right hand goes behind the right hip. Push the mat, that right hand lift up, twist right as you gaze over your right shoulder. Exhale, back to center. Right hand to left knee, left hand behind the left hip. Push the mat, that left hand lift up, twist left, gaze over your left shoulder. And back to center. Placing your right hand by your right hip, palm down. Left arm over the top of the head toward the opposite wall. Open up the left side, gazing through the left armpit, maybe dropping to your right elbow here. Perfectly okay, stay up on that right hand. Let that left arm pull you up, back to seated. Left hand by left hip, palm down, right arm over the top of the head. Opening up the right side, gazing through the right armpit, maybe dropping to the left elbow. Perfectly okay, stay up on that left hand. Let the right arm pull you up, back to seated. Then placing your hands in front of your shins, as you walk your hands out to the top of the mat, forward fold at the waist. Let the head hang heavy, feeling that stretch in your lower back and hips. Walking your hands back to your shins, back to a seated position. Inhaling and exhaling. And let's go to all fours here. Palms are flat, fingers spread. Knees in your hips, tops of feet are flat, back is flat. We'll start out bringing our knees together. You just drop your knees and hips to the left. Back to the left back corner. Back to center. Hips to the right. Back to the right back corner. Back to center. Hips to the left. Back to the left back corner. Back to center. Hips to the right. Back to the right back corner. Back to all fours. As you turn that left palm up, slide that left arm under your right arm, left side of the face to the mat, push into that right hand, turn your chest slightly open to the ceiling here. Bring that left arm out, back to all fours. Turn that right palm up, slide that right arm under the left, right side of the face to the mat. Pushing that left hand, turn your chest slightly open the ceiling here. Bring that right arm out, back to all fours. And we're gonna warm our spine here, cat cow. Inhale, head comes up, back sways. Exhale, drop your head, let your back round. Inhale up. Exhale, down and round. Inhale up, exhale down and round, inhale up, exhale back to a flat back as you drop your hips back to your heels, forehead to the mat, arms down by your side, turn your palms up, child's pose here, three breaths. Turn back to all fours. 
Left hand center mat. Left leg straight out behind. Right arm, ear level, straight out. As if someone's pulling those right fingers, pulling back to those left toes. Engaging your core. Right hand down, left knee down. Come back to all fours. Right hand center mat. Right leg straight out. Left arm straight out. As if someone's pulling those left fingers, pulling back on those right toes. Inhaling, exhaling. Left hand down, right knee down. Back to all fours. Dropping your hips back to your heels. Forehead to the mat. Arms down by your side. Turn your palms up. Child's pose. Three breaths. And now interlacing your fingers at the top of the mat. Make a triangle with your elbows. Curling your toes. Letting the hips float up to dolphin pose. Dropping your ribs toward your thighs. Heels toward the floor. Use your breath here. Walk your feet to the back of the mat, lowering to a plank position. Inhale and exhaling, relax and breathe. Lowering down, flat on the top of your feet, running your left forearm on the top of the mat, flipping over to your left side, stacking your legs, putting weight in that left forearm, lift your hips here. Right hand to the waist, drop in the air. Gaze straight ahead or up to your extended hand. Use your breath. Lowering down, back to your stomach. Arms down by your side. Fingers pointing toward your toes. Inhaling up. Lift your chest, lift your legs. Use your breath. Locust pose. And as you lower down, turn your head to one side. Three breaths. Inhaling up again, locust pose. <clears throat> and as you lower down, turn your head the opposite way. Three breaths. <sighs> Running your right forearm along the top of the mat, flipping over to your opposite side, stacking your legs, putting weight in that right forearm. Lift your hips. Left hands on the waist, up in the air. Gaze straight ahead or up at your extended hand. Use your breath. Lowering down, going back to your stomach. Elbows under the chest, palms flat. Just slide that right knee up, even with your waist. Thread that left arm under your right arm. As you roll over to your right shoulder blade, as that right knee comes up, left hand on the outside of the right knee. Gently pushing that right knee back towards the mat. Breathe here. And back to your stomach. Elbows on the chest, palms flat. Just slide that left knee up. Threading the right arm under the left. All the way over to your left shoulder blade. As that left knee comes up, right hand on the outside of the left knee. Gently pushing that left knee back towards the mat. Breathing here. And rolling back to your stomach. We'll go to a seated position at the top of the mat. Taking some breaths here. Inhaling, exhaling. And now rolling back, bring your knees into your chest, lay your head back, massage that spine, little circles, clockwise, counterclockwise, back and forth, up and down, inhale and exhale. All right, straighten the legs, soles of the feet are flat, come up off your shoulder blades, keep those legs straight, feet flat, hands and arms alongside your body, fan the floor, up and down using your breath. With those shoulder blades raised, bend your knees, hands behind your ears, slow controlled bicycles here, side to side, try not to pull the head and neck too much, make your core do the work. 
not the head and neck. Knees back to chest, lay your head back, massaging that spine. Flattening your feet here, back is flat, shoulder blades are flat. Bring that right knee into your chest, straighten that right leg, point the toes toward the ceiling, leg circles one direction. Try not to lean to the right or left. Keeping those shoulder blades flat. Inhaling and exhaling each time around. Stop at the top, reverse your circle. Stop at the top, bring that right knee into your chest. Work that right ankle one direction. Reverse. We'll do those toes on the right foot. Placing that right foot flat, bring that left knee into your chest. Straighten that left leg, point the toes. Leg circles one direction here. Reverse. Stop the top, bring that left knee into your chest. Work that left ankle one direction. Reverse. We'll get those toes on the left foot. Bring your knees back in your chest. Make a T with your arms. Back is flat, shoulder blades are flat. Dropping your knees together to the left. Back to the center. Over to the right. Back to the center. To the left. Back to center. And this time, all the way over to your right side, coming to rest here. Inhale and exhale. Placing your left hand by your right shoulder. You're going to push in the floor, push in the mat. Push up to a seated position here. And again, taking some breaths. Inhale and exhaling. So we go to all fours. Palms are flat, fingers spread, knees in our hips. We're gonna curl our toes, lift up to downward dog. All right, so you're gonna drop your ribs toward your thighs, heels toward the floor, palms are flat, fingers spread. First downward dog, you can alternate one heel at a time, warming up your calves, your Achilles. Inhale and exhaling. Now bring that right leg up, bend the knee, right heel over the left hip, open up that right side. Foot down, reset. Bring that left leg up, bend the knee, left heel over the right hip. And back to downward dog. Dropping those ribs toward the thighs, heels toward the floor. Now gently dropping to your knees, flattening the top of the feet. Drop your hips back toward the heels, forehead to the mat. Arms down by your side, turn your palms up. Full child's pose here, three breaths. Back up to all fours, curling your toes back to downward dog. Breathing here. And we're gonna bring that right leg up, right knee to chest and hold. Back up, right knee to right elbow and hold. Back up, right knee crosses to left elbow. Back up, right knee to chest. Set that right knee behind that right wrist. Right knee is at two o'clock position, flexing that right foot. Left leg is straight, left foot's flat, pigeon pose. Starting here, no knee pain, you wanna go deeper. You can drop to your elbows or flatten your hands, rest your forehead on your hands. Taking deep breaths here, inhale and exhale. Placing your palms under your shoulders, curling those left toes. We're gonna to bring that right leg back up in the air. Wiggle that right knee around. Get the blood flow back in that right knee. Back to downward dog. Bring that left leg up. Left knee to chest and hold. Back up. Left knee to left elbow. Back up. 
Left knee crosses to right elbow, back up, left knee to chest, set that left knee behind that left wrist. This time left knee at 10 o'clock position, flexing that right leg, squaring your body, flexing that left foot. Here, we're coming to your elbows or flattening out for pigeon pose, doing this in your left hip, taking deep breaths, inhaling, exhaling. Hands under your shoulders, palms flat. Curl those right toes. Bring that left leg back up in the air. Look at that left knee around. Blood flow back in that left knee. Back to downward dog. And walking your feet up to your hands. Bend your knees, push into your feet. Arms come all the way up. Palms touch. Thumbs to your chest. Releasing back to mountain pose. All right, mountain pose. You want your feet anywhere from touching two or three or four inches apart. Feel all four corners of each foot pushing the mat. Arms are down by your side. Dropping your shoulder blades. Relax and breathe. Taking deep breaths. We'll start out rolling our shoulders forward, big circles. Knowing you any tension you may have in your shoulders, back, or neck. Reverse. And again, chin to the chest. Back up. Right ear to right shoulder. Back up. Shoulder blades together. Let the head gently fall back. Back to center. Left ear to left shoulder, and back to center. All right, back to mountain pose. We're going to inhale up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive over. Hands all the way down the mat, releasing the neck. Breathing here. Shake your head gently yes, gently no. As you push into your feet, swing your arms all the way up. Palms touching overhead. Thumbs to the chest, gazing at your fingertips, arms down by your sides, back to mountain pose, inhaling, exhaling, Just inhale up again, exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, push into your feet, arms all the way up, palms touching overhead, lifting up out of the waist, elongating your body, side bend to the left, back to center, over to the right, back to center, slight back bend, take a peek at the ceiling, back to center, palms together, thumbs to the chest, releasing your arms down by your sides, back to mountain pose, inhaling, exhaling, and we're going to inhale up again, palms touch overhead, exhale, forward fold, swan dive over, Hands to the mat, releasing the neck. Hands behind the back, interlace your fingers, straighten your arms, dropping your head, and release your hands. Palms to calves, drop your ribs toward your thighs, forehead toward your shins, three breaths. Bend your knees, push into your feet, arms all the way up, palms touch, thumbs to the chest and release back to mountain pose. Inhaling, exhaling here, taking some breaths, preparing for sun salutations. We're gonna inhale up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands to the shins, flatten the back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, palms to the mat. Step that right foot back, deep lunge. Flatten your hands, left foot plank. Lowering down, flat on the top of your feet. Sphinx Cobra, upper dog. Drop those shoulder blades. Curling those toes. Downward facing dog. 
that right leg up, bend the knee, right heel over left hip. Back to down the dog, and that left leg up, bend the knee, left heel over the right hip. Back to downward dog. Next inhale, right foot steps up to a lunge. Big step up. Push those feet, square your body to the front. Straighten down your torso, dipping your hips slightly, flatten that front thigh. Pushing those feet, almost like you're trying to tear the mat apart. When your base is set, palms together, thumbs in the chest, arms overhead, lifting up out of the waist. Inhale and exhale. And as you push those feet, come back to a lunge. Step that left foot to the right. Drop your hips, arms up for chair. We'll do a twist. Palms together, thumbs in the chest. Left tricep, left upper arm across, right thighs. We twist right here. Hands together, left hand on the mat, right hand to the ceiling, opening up. Back to heart center. Right arm across, left thighs. We twist left here. Hands together, right hand on the mat, left hand on the ceiling, opening up. Back to heart center. Palms into your calves, drop your head, lift your hips. Three breaths. Bend your knees, push into your feet, arms all the way up. Palms touch overhead, thumbs to the chest and release back to mountain pose. Inhale and exhaling here, taking some breaths, using your breath to calm yourself, staying relaxed, but staying in the moment. Inhale and exhaling. So we go again, another sun salutation, inhaling up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive over, hands to the mat. Inhale, hands to the shins, flatten the back, Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, palms to the mat, left foot steps back, deep lunge. Flatten your hands, right foot back, plank. Lowering down, flatten the top of your feet. Sphinx, cobra, upper dog. Drop your shoulder blades here. Curling your toes, downward dog. Bring that left leg up, bend the knee, left heel over the right hip. Back to downward dog, bring that right leg up, bend the knee, right heel over the left hip. Back to downward dog. Next inhale, left foot steps up to a lunge, big step up. Pushing those feet, square your body to the front. Straighten down your torso, dipping your hips slightly, flatten that front thigh. Palms together, thumbs in the chest. Take those arms overhead, lifting up out of the waist. Inhale and exhale. As you push those feet, come back to that lunge position. Stepping the right foot to the left, drop your hips, arms up for chair this side. Palms together, thumbs in the chest. Right arm across left thighs. We twist left here. Hands together, right hand on the mat, left hand on the ceiling. Back to heart center. Left upper arm across right thighs. We twist right. Hands together, left hand on the mat, right hand on the ceiling, opening up. Back to heart center. Palms into your calves. Drop your head, straighten your legs. Three breaths. Bend your knees, push into your feet, arms all the way up, palms touch, thumbs to the chest, gauging at the fingertips, arms down by your side, back to mountain pose, taking some breaths here, inhaling, exhaling, and I'll move my back mat over a few feet as I got kind of out of sync here, and we're back at mountain pose, taking some breaths. Inhale and exhaling, relax and breathe. We're going to add on to our sun salutations. So we begin by inhaling up, palms touch overhead. 
Exhale, forward fold, swan dive over. Inhale, hands to the shins, flatten the back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, palms to the mat. So you step that right foot back. This time that right foot turns flat, push that left foot, square your body to the front. Feel all four corners of each foot, push into the mat, palms together, thumbs in the chest. When your base is set, take those arms overhead, lifting up out of the waist, inhaling, exhaling. Now taking those hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, straighten the arms. If you put weight in that left foot, drop that left shoulder inside that left knee. Head drops toward the mat, hands up toward the ceiling, inhale and exhale. And as you put weight in that left foot, let those hands pull you up. Come back to warrior one here. We're gonna go to warrior two now. Palms together, thumbs in the chest, torso to your right. Arms out, front and back. Turn your gaze to that left middle finger, left knee tracking the left, second toe that left foot. Right leg is straight, right foot's flat. Breathe here. Right hand to right hip, turn that left palm up over the top. Feel that stretch down the left side. Back to warrior two here. Left forearm, left thigh. Or take that left hand all the way down inside that left foot, down to the mat. Right hand could be on the waist, up in the air, over your ear. Open your chest slightly to the ceiling here. Inhale and exhaling. Bring that right arm up, pull back to warrior two. And now transitioning a triangle pose, you're gonna straighten that left leg, shift your right hip back, reach over the top of the mat, that left hand, Back of the left hand into the big toe side of the left leg. Right hands on the waist, up in the air. Gazing downward to your right. Wrap the extended right hand. Keep that right shoulder back, chest open. Now we're gonna bend that front knee. Hands back to the mat. Turn that right foot straight back to a lunge as we go to half moon pose. Push off that right foot. Both hands are down. Gazing downward, you can stay here. Take that right hand to the hip, up in the air, palm out. Gazing downward, off to the right. Bring that right hand down, straighten your body. Left hand to the hip, up in the air, gazing downward, off to the left. Bring that left hand down, drop that right foot back to a lunge. Flatten your hands, left foot back, plank. Lowering down, flatten the top of the feet so you can go to Sphinx here, Cobra here, or Up Dog here. And then curl your toes as we go to Downward Facing Dog. Seven breaths. Right foot's going to step up to a lunge, big step up. Turn that left foot flat this time. Square your body to the front. Palms together, thumbs in the chest. Right knee tracking the left. Second toe, that right foot. Left leg is straight, left foot's flat. Bring those arms overhead, lifting up out of the waist. Inhale and exhale. Hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers, straighten the arms. Putting weight in that right foot as you drop that right shoulder inside that right knee. Head drops toward the mat, hands up toward the ceiling. As you push into that right foot, let those hands pull you up. Release back to warrior one here. We'll go to warrior two now. Palms together, thumbs in the chest, torso to your left. Arms out, front and back. Gaze over that right middle finger. Right knee tracking that second toe, that right foot. Left leg is straight, left foot's flat. Warrior two here. Left hand, left hip, turn that right palm up over the top of that right arm. Back to warrior two. Right form to right thigh. Or take that right hand all the way down to the mat, inside that right foot. Left hand can be on the waist, up in the air, over your ear. Open your chest slightly to the ceiling here. Bring that 
left arm up, back to warrior two, transition to triangle pose, you're gonna straighten that right leg, shift that left hip back, reach over the top of the mat, that right hand, back of the right hand into the big toe side of the right leg, left hands on the waist, up in the air, gaze down at the floor to your left, up the extended left hand, keep your shoulder back, chest open, inhale and exhale, Taking the top hand, pull up, turn that right foot in, hands on the hips, use your breath here. Inhale and exhaling. As you push those feet, your hands forward at the waist, right hand, palm down on the floor. Let that left hand trail to the left, twisting left, follow that left hand through gaze. Bring that left hand down, plant it flat, right hand to the right, twisting right. Bring that right hand down, heel toe out, two steps, widening your stance, palms are flat here, let that head hang heavy, relax and breathe. And walking your hands over that right foot or ankle, maybe your right leg. back to center as you walk your hands over that left foot or ankle, maybe your left leg, using your breath here. Hands back to center. Heel toe in those two steps we took earlier. Push into your feet. Hands back up. Hands on the hips. Turn that left foot toward the left corner of the mat. Right toes toward the right corner. Elbows up like a goal post. Palms facing outward. Drop your hips. Flatten your thighs. Goddess warrior pose. Toes can be flat or you can raise your toes. Inhale and exhale. Relax and breathe. Bring those elbows down. Turn that left foot in. Right foot back to the top of the mat. Hands to the floor. Turn that left foot straight. Pushing off that left foot. Both hands are down. You can gaze down here at the floor. Or take that left hand of the hip up in the air. Turn that palm out. Opening up to the left, half moon to the left. Bring that left hand down, straighten your body. Right hand to the hip, up in the air. Gazing downward to the right. Bring that right hand down, drop to the left. Drop that left foot back, do a lunge. Stepping that left foot to the right. Bend your knees, push into your feet. Arms come up, palms touch. Thumbs touch and release. All right, walk it out. All right, we're gonna go to the back of the mat, do a warrior three. So you're gonna take a step and a warrior three and have your arms overhead. This is the hardest here. Hinging over, intermediate here, or you can add airplane wings here. So you come to the back of the mat, take a step, just go into your Warrior three. Come down. Go back to the mat. We'll do the other side. Left leg. When everything lined up straight, take a step. As you go to your warrior three here. Now we're going to add on to that, come to the back of the mat, take a step, this time palms together, thumbs in the chest here, a couple of breaths, hands go down, walk those hands back to that right foot or ankle, drop your head, raise your leg, breathe, you'll reach out and catch yourself if you start to fall, drop that left foot down, Arms up, palms touch, thumbs to the chest, release. And always in yoga, we do both sides. So we'll come to the back of the mat, do the left side. Take a step, that left foot, palms together, thumbs to the chest here. Hands straight down. Don't go to the feet yet, go straight down. Then walk the feet back, walk the hands back to the foot. 
low ankle, low ankle, drop your head, raise your leg, breathe, and hands to the mat, drop that foot down, push into your feet, arms up, palms touch, and release. All right, top of the mat, feel all four corners of each foot, push in the mat, I'm gonna do a tree pose. Put your weight in that left foot, bring that right knee up, Turn that right knee out. Right foot's above or below that left knee, just not into the knee. Palms together, thumbs to the chest here. Interlace your fingers. Do a steeple with your hands, or you can spread the branches of your tree. Palms together, thumbs to the chest. Back to mountain pose. Inhaling, exhaling, other side. Shift your weight to that right foot. Bring that left knee up. Turn that left knee out. Palms together, thumb to the chest. Take those arms overhead here. Spread your branches here. Palms together, thumb to the chest. And release. All right, we're gonna go down to the floor now. Come to the back of the mat. And just straighten your legs out, shake them out a little bit. We're going to inhale up, forward fold. Maybe touch your toes, but if your back's tight, maybe just touch your shins or your knees. Feel that stretch. Inhale and exhaling. Now, soles of the feet together, cobbler's pose. Inhale and exhale here. Straighten your legs out again, shake them out. We're going to roll back to our backs here. Just bring your knees into your chest, lay your head back, flatten the back of your neck, massage that spine. Now flatten your feet behind your hips, arms are down by your side, back is flat, shoulder blades are flat. We're going to push into our feet, peel your hips up off the mat, most weights on your shoulder blades here. And as you push in those feet again, lift up. Now bring your arms overhead alongside your ears, arms are straight, push in those feet, lift those hips way up this time toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring those arms back down, walking your back down one vertebrae at a time, waist and hips, last thing to touch, back to a flat back. All right, we're going to push those feet again, lift your hips, and this time as you push the feet, lift the hips again, arms overhead, and one more time, push those feet, lift those hips way up this time, exhale, bring those arms down. Walk your back down one vertebrae at a time. Waist and hips, last thing to touch. Returning to a flat back. Inhaling, exhaling. Now push into your feet again. Lift your hips, take your hands underneath. Bridge pose, interlace your fingers. Walk up on your shoulder blades, straighten those arms. Lift those hips, breathe here. Release those hands, walk those back, walk the back down one vertebrae at a time. Waist and hips, last thing to touch, back to a flat back. Bring those knees into the chest, massage that spine, little circles. Now place that right foot on the right edge of the mat, right knee up, left foot on the left edge of the mat, left knee up. We're gonna just windshield wipe our knees to the left. Let them drop over like a set of windshield wipers. Back to center over to the right. Back to center, over to the left. Place that left heel on top of your right thigh. Extend that right arm toward the top of the mat. Left thumb and forefinger around that right wrist. Gently pull that right arm toward the top of the mat. Feel that stretch down your right side. Breathe here. Release that right arm, bring those knees back up. As you drop your knees to the right. Now, right heel on top of the left thigh, extend that left arm all the way out. Right thumb and forefinger around that left wrist. Gently pull that left arm toward the top of the mat. Feel that stretch down your left side here. And release. Bring those knees back up. We're going to straighten that left leg all the way out to the end of the mat. Straighten the right leg beside it. Feet together, legs together. Arms down by your sides. Turn your palms up facing the ceiling. As you shut your eyes, just let your feet fall open to the floor. 
as we go to Shavasana, relaxation pose. Just relax and breathe here, taking deep breaths, inhaling, exhaling. With your eyes closed, slowly start wriggling your fingers and toes as you increase your breathing. We're going to roll to our right side here, take some more breaths. Place that left hand by your right shoulder, you're going to push in the floor, push in the mat, push up to a seated position. Taking some breaths here. So we bring our palms together, thumbs in our chest. Slowly open your eyes, bowing softly. Namaste.